okay atypical antidepressants these are a mixed group of agents they have action on several different receptor types bupropion mirtazapine nifazodone trazodone velazodone vortizetine okay now first of all we'll have a look at bupropion this is a weak dopamine and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor it acts on both and it is used to alleviate the symptoms of depression this is also useful for decreasing cravings attenuating withdrawal symptoms of nicotine so it is used for patient trying to quit smoking side effects dry mouth sweating nervousness tremor and a dose dependent increased risk for seizures it has very low incidence of sexual dysfunction bupropion is metabolized by cyp 2 b6 pathway and low risk for dd interactions next is mirtazapine mirtazapine enhances serotonin and norepinephrine neurotransmission by serving an antagonist at presynaptic alpha 2 receptors now some of the antidepressant activity may be related to antagonism at serotonin receptors as well it is sedating because of potent antihistaminic activity it has activity over alpha 2 serotonin and histamine receptors but it does not cause any antimuscarinic side effects or interfere with sexual dysfunction like ssris sedation increased appetite weight gain frequently occur these are the side effects increase appetite sedation and weight gain for mirtazapine next is nifazodone and trazodone these are the inhibitors of serotonin reuptake only they are also they also act as antagonism at serotonin receptors both agents are sedating potent histamine blocking activity trazodone is off label for management of insomnia trazodone is associated with priapism nifazodone has been associated with hepatotoxicity and both have mild to moderate alpha 1 receptor antagonism which contributes to orthostatosis and dizziness now velazodone velazodone is a serotonin reuptake inhibitor so it acts on serotonin as a partial agonist although the extent to which this activity contributes its therapeutic effect is not known this is the possible mechanism which renders it from ssris the adverse effect is similar to ssris and risk for discontinuation syndrome if you abruptly stop it what is atin it is a combination of serotonin in reuptake inhibition as well as 5ht1a agonism 5ht3 5ht7 antagonism it is suggested to treat depression and the common adverse effects of nausea constipation sexual dysfunction then comes tca this is important class tricyclic antidepressants they inhibit norepinephrine serotonin reuptake in the presynaptic neurons and they may be referred to as snris but their difference what is the difference in adverse effects because it acts on several different receptors to tca include the tertiary amine imipramine amitriptyline chromipramine doxepin trimipramine and secondary amines such as desipramine nortriptyline protriptyline maprotriline amoxapine are related to tca and commonly known as tcas now what is the mechanism the mechanism is they inhibit neurotransmitter of reuptake so tca and amoxapine are potent inhibitors of neuronal reuptake of norepinephrine and serotonin into presynaptic maprotiline and desipramine they are selectively selective for norepinephrine only now tca block serotonergic alpha adrenergic histaminic and muscarinic receptors so they give they produce more side effects due to the other receptor mechanism actions they are they improve mood 50 to 70% with major depressions have been improved mood elevation tapering is recommended to minimize the discontinuation syndrome 
then their therapeutic uses it is used to treat moderate to severe depression Imipramine is an alternative to desmopressin in the treatment of bedwetting in children. TCA, particularly amitriptyline, have been used to help prevent migraine headaches and treat chronic pain syndrome, which is also neuropathic pain. Doxepin can be used to treat insomnia. Pharmacokinetic for TCA, these are well absorbed. Variable first pass metabolism, low and inconsistent bioavailability, metabolized by CYP450, and therefore they will have drug drug interaction. Adverse effects blockade of mus because of muscarinic blood vision, xerostomia, urinary retention, sinus tachycardia, constipation, aggravation of angle closure glaucoma. They affect cardiac conduction as well, similar to quinidine. And also they involve life-threatening arrhythmias in overdose in situation. They will block alpha adrenergic receptors and cause orthostatic hypotension, dizziness, reflex tachycardia. Sedation is also related to histaminic receptor blocking activity. Weight gain is the common side effect for DCA. Sexual dysfunction occurs in minority. This is the overall weight gain, dry mouth, constipation. Urine retention, blurred vision, tachycardia, arrhythmia, which can be life threatening, nausea, and drowsiness. They have the most adverse effects. Now, some commonly observed adverse effects of TCA. All this TCA, you can see here tricyclic and T depressant, due to their nature of acting on different direct acting adrenergic drugs will potentiate the effect of amine drugs by preventing the removal from its synaptic left. Mao inhibitors, hypertension, hyperpyrexia, convulsions and coma. Indirect acting adrenergic drug, they will block indirect acting sympathomimetic drugs by preventing the drugs from reaching their intracellular sites of action. Other CNS depressant, toxic sedation.